Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 21 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable, or JoJo Part 4. So, we finally get a, I guess, proper kind of introduction to our main villain of Part 4, uh, Yoshi Kage Kira. I'm just gonna call him Kira. Huh, I don't see what people see in this guy as a good villain, because he's just kind of there. He's just kind of like, oh... I want to live a normal life, but hey, I got a stand. And I think he said his stand's name was Killer Queen. Uh, the subtitle said Deadly Queen. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Um, Killer Queen, Deadly Queen, that's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, uh, I might call it Deadly, I might call it Killer, you know, whatever. And it's got these like weird looking cat ears or I don't know what that was. I was like, why does it look like it has cat ears? That's weird. But um yeah, so this episode was basically Kira, you know, he went to um buy a sandwich and he also has the woman's hand with him at all times and he also put a ring on it for whatever reason. And um well because I don't know, this guy's weird. Okay, this guy's just weird. Um but yeah, and then there's this whole mix up with uh him and Shigechi's uh sandwich. Uh, also, there was a dog that, like, came to try to take, uh, Kida's sandwich, I think, and I was like, oh, a puppy, and I was like, oh, no, a puppy, don't die, because, obviously, at this point, we know that, uh, dogs die a lot in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so, yeah, I was like, please don't kill the puppy, but anyway, <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, pu the dog's fine, that's the most important thing, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but anyway, um, so, yeah, in this episode, uh, well, first of all, uh, there's this whole situation with, you know, Shigechi, Josuke, and Okiyasu, this whole sandwich deal, and they all basically get together to eat lunch together in this room where there's this, like, coffee stuff, I don't know, this is whatever, but, um, meanwhile, uh, there was a switch up with Shigechi's and Kira's bag, so they have, like, like, Shigechi has his bag that has the hand in it, because he put the hand in there, um, yeah, so, obviously, he doesn't want uh, Shigechi or Josuke Okiyasu to see that hand, because that would be bad, obviously. And he does get it back, uh, but certain situation arise where he was leaving the school, and Shigechi showed up, he's like, that's my bag, and, blah, blah, and then it ended up where he used his harvest to take the bag, the bag ripped open, the hand flew out, or fell out, and there you go. And that's when, you know, Kira started explaining, like, you know, he just wants to live a normal, quiet life, and I'm like, okay, yay for you, I guess, you weird guy who has a fetish for women's hands, um, so yeah, that was a thing, and that's when you get introduced to his stand, now, I don't know what his stand's powers are, um, obviously, because, you know, the episode ended, but we'll probably find out in the next episode, because there's gonna be a part two to this, you know, this little he wants to live a quiet life, or whatever the title of the episode was, but yeah, I, I just don't see how some people say, oh my gosh, Kira's like one of the best JoJo villains, and I'm sitting here like, um, nothing, or this is not beating part three Dio so far, this is, this is like, this is like part one, we had Dio, part two, we had Cars and the Pillarmen, part three, we had, well, the first part, well, basically part three's final villain was Dio, and that was amazing. And now part four, we have this Kira guy, and again, it's like the Cars incident, like, he's not, he's a villain, I mean, he's there, but he's not great, like, there's nothing about Kira that I see so far that's great about him, like, I don't, I don't understand, because I just really like Dio as a villain, and then we have Kira here, and I'm like, I don't see why people like this guy as a villain. He's just kind of, yeah. So, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe he'll have some really, really cool stand power that'll make me go, oh, okay, maybe that's a little cool, but I don't know. Nobody spoil it for me. Nobody tell me. I don't want to know what his stand does. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about this episode, really. And we'll see uh, him fight Shigechi, I guess, in the next episode. Or, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, well, manga readers do, obviously, but I don't. So, um, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much all that happened in this episode. So, I'll see you guys in my reviews for, um, I believe, uh, tomorrow is Hatsukoi Monster. Um, I forget what else. I, oh, B Project. 
and there's one other thing that I can't remember the name of. What is it? Uh, rewrite, rewrite, right? Right? Is that a rewrite? Yeah, that's rewrite. Okay, so rewrite Hatsukoi Monster and B Project. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in those reviews tomorrow. Yeah, I had to look at my list because I'm like I'm confused. But anyway, I see you guys in those reviews. Bye.